RC foam fighters. Uh, well, last week we finished up the EPP part jet project, so this week I wanted to get into a new project. Um, I've been kind of working on the side on another project already. Um, I've been collaborating with my friend Chris out in California on a plane design that he had. So it's kind of an experimental design. It's a plane with a forward swept wing. So um, let's get into this project and see how it goes. Okay, for this next project we're going to be working on a forward swept wing plane. And as I mentioned uh, earlier, this is a plane that was kind of uh, developed by my friend Chris and I. We collaborated together. And this is kind of a very basic um, early concept my friend Chris emailed me. Um, he said he's not an artist, but it pretty much communicated the uh, features he wanted on the plane. So I took his basic idea and I started developing different concepts. Um, at that same time, Frank was working on his uh, bulletproof plane, which was also a forward swept wing. So I kind of looked at Frank's and also Chris's concept idea and I started combining some of the ideas and um, developing some basic concepts. So this is one of the early concepts here that I had. and. Um, me and Chris collaborated a little more and the design developed and evolved over time. Um, basically I ended up going with this basic design here. I decided after seeing Frank's plane flying how the characteristics were, I wanted to try and mellow out some of the forward swept wing characteristics since my friend Chris is a kind of a um, beginner pilot. So I added a lot larger wing roots to the plane hoping it would make it a little more stable in flight and have a little bit better um, flight characteristics and a flight envelope. Okay, well here's the final uh, templates that I want to create out of uh, eight and a half by 11 sheets. Each of the little blue squares is gonna be eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I'm gonna create a template by printing these out on just a regular computer printer and then cutting all the pieces and taping it together. Um, before we get started though, I just wanted to say this is an experimental design. And I'm not really sure how it's going to fly or if it will fly very good. I guess the only way to find out is we're going to build it and um, throw it in the air and see what happens. So let's get down to the uh, basement workshop and get started on building the plane. Okay, here's a quick concept drawing I created in AutoCAD of the plane I'm planning on making. Um, and to get started, I've also created some quick patterns. Now I just need to cut out and tape together the uh, templates and start cutting the foam out. Okay, I use this paper cut here to trim the edges of the template pages and now I'm going to tape all the template pages together so they fit together like this key plan here. Okay, I finished piecing together the template as per the key plan. Now I just need to cut it out and overlay it on the EPP foam and start cutting out the pieces. Okay, I got the template all cut out and now I place it on top of the EPP foam now I'm just going to use a sharpie marker to go around the edge of the template and mark on the EPP foam the area I need to cut out to create the airplane. Okay, I got the template pattern now transferred to the EPP foam. Um, this is 15 millimeter EPP foam sheet. So now all I got to do is take it to the hot wire cutter that we have and cut it out. Okay, now I'm, I'm using the hot wire cutter to cut out the uh, pattern I drew on the EPP foam. Um, basically, it's as easy as just following the line. You don't have to worry about being too perfect because you're going to use the sanding block and probably the rasp to clean it up later. So as long as you're fairly close and steady and follow the lines, it should be good enough to, to start with. Okay, it cuts as simple as that. Okay, I finished cutting out the uh, main wing piece using the hot wire tool. Um, if you didn't have a hot wire tool, you could probably just use a uh, box cutter type knife like this one pictured here, and you can cut it out with one of those. Um, the next step, I'm going to be doing basically the sandwich method again for the fuselage. So I'll be using this template here to create two pieces, one for the top and one for the bottom to create the fuselage. So let me get on to that and we'll get back on the video. Okay, I finished cutting out all the main pieces for this plane. These are the two fuselage pieces. One's going to go on top of the main wing and one's going to go on the bottom. So that's pretty much the main three pieces of this. Um, this is where we're going to leave it off for the video today. Um, next week we'll get into shaping the two fuselage pieces and probably putting some Henry's weave on the plane. Okay, well that pretty much finishes off the uh, project portion of the video this week. 
Um, I'm pretty happy with the way the project's moving. I've got all the main pieces cut out. So in the coming videos, we're gonna be you know, doing the bevels on the fuselage pieces. And probably I'm gonna be using the Henry's weave again on this uh, plane to make it a lot stronger, make it more bulletproof. Um, since my friend Chris is actually kind of a beginning pilot too. So I wanna build it pretty strong so it'll take some punishment um, and hopefully keep on flying. So thanks again for joining us for this week's video. Um, stay tuned though, there's a little message I got at the end of this video so I think you'll be interested. Hey guys, this is Paul again with RC Foam Fighters. Um, thanks for staying around for the end of the video here. Um, I kind of have a big announcement. Um, basically, me and Frank have been uh, real appreciative of all of you viewers and uh, our subscribers out there. So we kind of wanted to um, do something to thank you guys. We wish we could thank each and every one of you personally. Um, and hopefully this video, um, I can right now. Um, but we also want to do something special. We wanted to create um, basically a monthly drawing I wanted to do for all the subscribers that we have. Um, I wish I could give prizes to all of you guys, but unfortunately we can't afford it. But, um, but I wanted to plan on having a monthly drawing for all of our subscribers. Um, this month I'm going to be giving away a free motor, um, basically the same type of motor that's on Frank's new uh, Delta Wing plane. So um, if you want to get in the drawing, all you have to do is be a subscriber to our YouTube channel and send an email to us at admin rcfoamfighters.com. I'll put the address again here at the bottom of this video and in the sidebar. So we're going to try and keep on doing this uh, monthly. So please stay tuned and uh, please subscribe to our videos. Um, it'll be good for you. You possibly could win a prize and it'll help us um, build our audience. So again, thank you and thank all of you subscribers and viewers. Um, look forward to getting this uh, drawing going this month and hopefully in all the months following. So thanks for tuning in. See you next week.